Hi, I'm John Coffin with Coffin Wood Creations. In this massive barn I created for a good friend of mine, and it's going to Beardsford, South Dakota for Jed Olbertson. Great friend of mine was in my wedding. Anyway, this is their barn and their farm, and his dad was raised with this barn. Um, this barn was built in the 1920s, and the tornado took it in 1949. The barn now has vertical siding, but I put the original horizontal siding back on it. This barn is pretty mammoth. It measures 33 and a quarter inches wide. Down on the bottom, it's 30 inches. It is, I think, 40 inches tall. Not, yeah, up to the up to the points is, but it's it's 32 up to the brow. And then for the brow, it's another. Well, it's not it's 63 quarters inches, but then it's almost nine inches to the to the point. And this one here is fully shingled. Um, as you can see, this barn has the barn bats on it. This barn here, of course, you got the big barn door. It's fairly close to scale, but if I had to do a scale, it needs to be another foot longer and a little bit more wider, and you just, you can't, you gotta have room in your house for it. So anyway, this is what I came up with for Jed and Olbertson. Anyway, I painted, I painted the bottom white, and this is, uh, this is, the foundation was poured. This is the only part that didn't get, get blown away by the tornado. But anyway, this is, uh, this is recreated to look like cement, poured foundation. And then uh, the horizontal siding is put on there. And actually underneath the horizontal siding, or the bats, I just didn't lay a quarter inch piece of plywood. Um, it's actually got one by quarter inch pieces tacked onto a half inch piece that's all the way around, if you can understand what I'm saying. All the trim pieces are uh, tacked onto, and there's real windows in it, panes in it. This barn here opens up on both sides. This is probably the best roof I've ever had. Um, I went and got $40 sheet plywood and it's pretty straight stuff and, and it come together really well. Obviously it's shingled, piano hinges. This one here had two cupolas on it on the original barn. And on this one here I've got uh, to dust it, number one. But anyway, I've got the uh, ridge cap on, which is Ten, and of course we got the lightning rods, and the, we got the blue, little blue balls like other real lightning rods, like you see on this thing. Um, as you can see, it all had, this had four doors coming into it, the hay doors. Again, the barn bats. These doors here, if Jody can, um, I actually, uh, if you can look, you can see that I uh, made each one of these. I didn't just cut them out of plywood. This one here, I recreated to make it look like. Uh, a real barn door because you got each individual uh, board on there, kind of kind of stick built. We'll let the horse kind of hang out there. Here he goes. Uh, this has got a real hinge on. Hinge is a little bit big, but I wanted to make sure that he's never busted on Jed. Um, it took me over. It took me a day to just shingle this barn, make all the grooves, and cut them all out. Um, let's get this side over here, Joey. As you can see, uh, got bats on here, and then there's a door on this side, and then, uh, like I said, it's, uh, oh, and then on the original barn, the siding only went that far up, I suppose eight feet, then the rest of it, but I recreated that, that, that stop of the boards and I imagine that's as long as the boards they could have got at the time or whatever. Come on around this side, Joey. Why don't you walk around the other way? This barn here has a hay mile in it. Um, I'm gonna shut this door up here. This here is uh, a door to open up and then you put a elevator up here and then you fill the old spins. This hay mile has old spins in it. The original old barn had hay, a hay mow in it, but when they when they rebuilt the barn back, they didn't put the hay mow in it, and they actually shrunk down the barn height-wise because they went from uh, loose hay to square bales, and they just didn't need that much more room because square bales obviously 
took less less uh, space up than we say. But this comes all the way out, and if you can see, it's got the slides let the let the grain out. It's got ladders to come up, and go inside. Um, just stay right here, dude. This barn has lights in it too. Um, I'm gonna take the hay mile out. Jody can see that. Um, these are cut specifically for this barn here. Um, I use Christmas lights. I just had a hard time finding. Uh, it's too expensive to go with like the DC lights from like uh, Radio Shack or something like that. This side here was the horse side. These guys had uh, two by twelve, two by twelve boards for the stalls. Um, so when the horses kicked it, they didn't kick through it. it. Had a ladder going up to the hay mow. Inside here, if Jody can get there, this is where the um, Jed's great grandpa had a, her grandfather had a work. Had a shop in there. Back in the old days, they spent about fifty percent of their time in in the big barn. And each and, they, and these two are uh, hay are just feed rooms. That's where the oats falls down into, and they would have stored bag feed in there or whatever mineral. As you can see, they all got they all got. Uh, oh my guys, it's falling down here. I put the animals in. You can see, but uh, this here. Uh, they all have stalls in it and then they can put like two horses per stall but here I just I got some colts with it and little ponies this was a half a stall this is exactly like the inside of uh, the Obertson's family barn there's a window on this side coming here and there's a window there and there's a door coming out and uh, there's a door going to each feed room too um, and then you can see there's doors that they they went in and out for the horses the horses probably from this came in this door and they came in this door for that and they probably just use this one to walk in and out to the house I uh, covered all the made all like the beams going across the barn recreated that this was the wall in the middle just like the like the real barn and then here's a the cow side as you can see it had gutters here but now these were only one by twelves or they cheapened it up a little bit but anyway they only had one by twelves I just kind of just want to say that because that's just the way the old guys did to save a little bit of money and it's basically the same type of stall but I um, and then like I said you got a feeder for them for them all and they went outside and drank after they got on milk and these there were two cows who were stanching and on this side they also had a ladder going up to the up to the hay mow here's another neat feature all I do with all my barns is uh, I make a, I make the door open the hay mow door open and shut Then you pull the rope, if you can see this, pull that rope and the door goes shut. As you can see there's windows, like I said before, come back across here, you can see the rope, you can see the light all the way up here. And here was the ladder that they walked up, you know, when they filled up the hay and, and you can go right up through here and you can stand and I think that was made to trip the trip back in the day when they had loose hay or I, I almost positive they probably went down through the bottom to pull the door shut with a or they had more than one guy but anyway there there was a something to stand on up there to I imagine to trip the hay as you can see I make these pretty darn close to being real Also, I stain the inside of these barns. That makes it a lot nicer. This is all stained, and then you can see I put an edge so you don't see the you don't see the side of the plywood that's cut. Uh, hopefully, I'll get this out to Jed soon. As you can see, I recreated the, the drip cap on this. 
Jody can get that right here. Right here where my hand's on, this is the drip cap. You know, when the rain came out, it wouldn't it'd come a little bit out from the barn. Well, I'm pretty proud of this barn. It's probably one of the bigger, biggest, biggest and tallest barns I've ever made, longest and tallest. Like I said, I found some decent plywood and then I didn't get a, too bad of a curve to, to fight, fight me against. And I used one inch hook and eyes. As you can get the cupolas up here, I'm pretty proud of them. Well, that's Jed's barn in a nutshell, I guess. Pretty proud of it, pretty good piece. Thanks Jed for letting me do it. I'm John Cobb with Cobb Wood Creations, having a great day.